Um, the, the Bull Durham uh, tobacco that, that he twisted, you know, with one hand uh, and, and lit that up uh, smelled different. <laughs> I love the smell. The smell is great. I love the smell. Maybe contact high. I don't know. But but I'm going. I'm going, Dad. You know uh, what's that? And he called it. Well, it's Turkish tobacco. So. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different kind of tobacco than my camels. You know. And, and I don't care. You're nine years old. You know. You don't care. You're just holding on for dear life while he's driving. You know, to his friend's house in, in uh, San Jose, California. And and I, I I thought it smelled great. As I said, you know, contact high. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. well, it, it wasn't until I was like 15 years old and, and I was up at some tree fort with my buddy and stuff and we scored a matchbox of Alcapogo gold, you know, and as soon as match went to paper, I went, oh, <laughs> it all came back, I went, oh, I went, oh, shit, <laughs> what an idiot. I mean, I had heard of pot and marijuana and blah, 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 but until I smelled that, I went, oh. and these memories came rushing back to me, going, oh my God, that was it the whole time. <laughs> because we would go off to, you know, the races or something, and my mom would go, Neil, and, and she had this, this certain tone in her voice. <laughs> Instead of just going, Neil, have fun, she'd go, Neil, Neil. And, and I'm like, what? And, and, and that tone of voice, I, I knew something was cool. You know, something was going to be something, you know, because mom, you know, instead of going, have fun, boys, you know, it, it's a gas station or whatever. She go, Neil. And, and I'm all, oh, Well, it wasn't until I was 15 when I smelled that, and it, all these memories rushed back, and I went, oh, shit, of course. That's what he was doing. You know, he had to get out the house. You know, and, and uh, I remember he got really funny and goofy and, and kind of lovey-dovey, you know, but I didn't put it together, you know, I didn't know, shit, I mean, it's like that, you know, it's like, I didn't know from pot or anything, but um, I remember I really loved that aroma, and we go over to this guy, uh, John Gorley's house in Campbell, and he was the only reefer uh, addict in, in the South Bay, um, and, and uh, he, he was, he was Neil's psychologist in San Quentin. Uh, Neil, Neil did a couple of years as a guest of the state between 58 and 60. And uh, Gorley was, was this, uh, you know, psycho guy or whatever. And uh, they became fast friends and, and um, they were the only two potheads in the South Bay in 19, you know, 58. Was I nine years old or something? And so we go over to John Gorley's house and, and I really loved those trips because um, John had this really cool, you know, like, beat pad, you know. He, he had that, you know, kind of like carpet that was like uh, that woven, you know, stringy stuff, and and uh, and and these swinging chairs and and like a xylophone that was really cool. And and he had a stack of Playboys in between the chairs. You know, I mean, uh, nine years old, I was a happy kid. <laughs> you know, I'm all, I, let's go to John Gorley's house. So they they would duck into the back bedroom, and and um, it, it would be you know from a half hour to like four hours. They were just like, and I heard a lot of giggling. I, you know, I, I put all this together, of course, when I was. You know, Older, but but uh, you know, a nine-year-old kid. I'm going, hey, I'm cool, you know. Oh, and he had the first HO, you know, scale uh, card set, you know. Like anyway, um, it was like a playland for me. And they would come stumbling out with this, you know, smoke billowing out of the um, the back room. I, I didn't know what, you know, I like, I didn't care. And they were all goofy and giggly and stuff. And he, and he goes, uh, Johnny, we got to go home. I think your mother's going to be pissed off. I just told her we were just going out of the gas station to check the tire. <laughs> yeah. And he's like six hours later, well, whatever, Dad. I'm reading Playboys and watching, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'm cool. It, it's, uh, you know, it, uh, i I got to tell you, it was like a... You know, it was it was kind of an unusual upbringing, but uh, <laughs> when, when when we get home, you know, 
Um, Carolyn was cool. In fact, I, I can't make her out to be some villain because she'd sit there, you know, like this, and, and she'd just start laughing. She's just going, whatever, you know. And, and he's high as a kite. And, and I'm all just, um, I like John Gorley's house, you know, it's just like, she's oh gosh, you know, here's, here's dinner, you know. But, uh, <laughs> I remember, um, one Christmas, he, he would always, uh, play, uh, the Santa, you know, he'd sit by the tree. We had the traditional Christmas every year, and, and he'd be, you know, Santa and pass out the, uh, presents from under the tree. So we'd be sitting around, I have two older sisters. And my mom said so the four of us would be sitting there in the living room. And um, I remember one year, um, he passed them all out, and there's this one box, you know, like there's always that last box under the tree. And uh, and my mom goes, well, you know, what's that? You know, he's all, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. And she goes, come on, come on. So he, he pulls it out, and it's a box about this big. And there's some friends from him from... Uh, Thailand or somewhere, I, I don't know, or, or, or India, I forget. But um, it looked kind of foreign. So he goes, okay, so, so he pulls it out and it's a hookah pipe. Oh. <laughs> About this big. And you know, this is before bongs or anything. It was a hookah. And it, it had, you know, the, the, the glass uh, base with a porcelain uh, bowl and about, you know, three hoses coming off. And he puts it all together, you know, and, and the us kids are going, what's that, Dad? You know, what the hell is that? You know, it looks like something from outer space. This is like 1962 or something. And he's all like this. <laughs> well, sure, but, but, uh, but Carolyn, uh, and my mother, goes, Neil, and, uh, and I knew that too. Like, something's cool here. Come on. Something's cool. She goes, don't even think about it. <laughs> and, and now we're all, oh yeah, this is cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, and she goes, no, no, don't worry, dear. You know, it's like a, just like you know, I, I gotta test it. You know, I gotta test it. You know, <laughs> I gotta, you know, the, the tobacco. You know, the tobacco. You know. Yeah, all right. He sprints into the bedroom, and I hear him, you know, going through the uh, drawers and stuff. And and my mom's pissed. <laughs> See, uh, we we didn't know enough to be dangerous. I mean, we, we're not going to be, you know, uh, you know, like corrupted uh, because we're too young to, you know, no pot from tobacco. I mean, who cares? But um, she was paranoid that, you know, we we, you know, fall into some, you know, I mean, we be corrupted and, and end up like he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, he comes running out. Uh, and he, he just stuffs that, that bowl, right? It was this porcelain bowl. And he's sitting cross-legged in front of the fr Christmas tree with one of the pipes, you know, and he fills it with ice water. I mean, this is way before bong and stuff, you know what I mean? And he's just, you know, token on this thing. And, and she's all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm all, God, that smells good, you know? <laughs> it must be that Turkish tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, Turkish. Uh, well, he tested <laughs> this hookah, I mean, for about a half an hour. And and um, so we clean up all the wrapping paper and stuff, and he's just sitting in front of the Christmas tree, just, just going for this, <laughs> this hookah pipe. And, uh, you know, I had it for years. I, I lost it in a... It, It'll move somewhere, but oh, yeah. you know yeah. what? Yeah, I think that would be <laughs> worth at least fifty or seventy-five cents on eBay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so Are you know, kidding? So it, when you're talking about how entertaining, you know, uh, Neil could be, uh -huh. you know, uh, I, I remember it was four of us, nineteen-year-olds, are in the car. Uh oh, here we go. Driving from. Denver down to Colorado Springs, which is about 75 miles or something. You know, it was like about an hour and a half trip in those days. Uh, and Neil starts in on philosophy and the Proverbs. Oh, oh, God. Now he's got four guys that are 19 years old. And I tell you, it was the most entertaining, <laughs> yeah. fun hour and a half driving down there, learning all about. Schopenhauer and Nietzsche and yeah. uh, where did he uh, learn this stuff? Well, he he, he spent he all the books. Uh, he spent all his life in the Denver Library basement. Well, the Denver Library, he, he started reading 
the A's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take five books home a night. Right. Uh, really? Actually, uh, he uh, knew. And uh, you know, get over the B's, you know. And uh, that was when they were living in the flop house, you know. Amazing. And, uh, Very well read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I, I got, I, I got a kick out of this though. Um, <coughs> your mother, you know, was always saying what a, you know, a great IQ he had, you know. And and it's true that uh, on the Yusuf's tests. His was better than mine. Uh-oh. But I took both tests.